did you have anybody at the club that was saying, look, Micah, don't go out on Saturday nights. Stay in, mate. Just stay in one Saturday night. I mean, because you feel invincible at that age, don't you? And and, yeah. and, and no one is invincible. Yeah, exactly that. I had, I, I, when I was training, just no fear. I was just like, no fear. And I was backing up by reserve team performances, which if you didn't play for the first team, you dropped down to the reserves. But luckily for me, I had Stuart Pearce. And everyone knows Stuart Pearce. He's, he's not just a legend. He's England. He's a, he's a legend. Everyone knows Stuart Pearce. And he'd, he'd been there, done it. You said, you said he demanded 100% and he was always brutally honest. How honest was he? He was brutally honest. Like, he was, he, he was just... If you played... I don't know if I can swear on you or not. <laughs> Mate, feel free. <laughs> he would come in at half time and... Some of the things that he would say, you just wouldn't think. Would he go personal down the line of the 11 players going, you're shit, you're shit, you're really extra shit, you're <laughs> shit. Would he do it like that? I don't. He, he would actually do, you know, he would, he would he, if you liked you, you was all right. If you played bad, you know, if you played bad, but he liked you, you're all right, but he would pick on, Someone who he don't no, he wouldn't he wouldn't pick on someone, let's say anyone who he didn't particularly like, who had a bad game, he would just call them out, yo shit, what are you doing here? What are you, no, no, what how are you on this sort of money? That it was just it was brilliant, it was brutal, honest. Because the first thing that someone says when you play bad for a footballer, how are you on this sort of money? That's the first thing. How is we're he getting paid this a week? Yeah, we're coming to that. <laughs> But, but, but what I think what he, what I think you get from Stuart Pierce is what he gave I think on the pitch, which was a hundred percent. You may not be the most talented necessarily, but if you give all of yourself, then I will respect you. Is that the way it was? That's exactly that. I owe a more a serious note for a manager to give me a chance at seventeen, at like seventeen in the Premier League, and not just to like put me in for one or two games. He said, you go in there and it's your place to lose. So imagine how I'm feeling to him. I'm thinking, I will run through brick walls for you. I, I will literally, you tell me to do something and I will do it and I will not let you down. And I didn't let him down like I do. He, 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 he loved me and I loved him. There's games where I didn't play as good as I could have done, but that wasn't for, for not trying. And I think he, he, he realised that because... He never, he never said anything bad to me. If I wasn't working hard enough in training, or, you know, we have a little pre-season, so everyone doesn't know about pre-season, but pre-season is horrible. I know you've been, you've done what you've done and you've been to some horrible, but pre-season, I, that's the only thing oh, I don't miss about football. It's horrible. The pain. The pain. That's, oh, the pain. It's, I, I love pain if I can get through it, but I'm quite a big lad. So, you know, all the... The, the smaller... The whippersnappers. Fitter, you know, yeah. With the, you know, us at the back, trying to carry all this weight around. It's difficult. It is difficult. Um, so I used to hate pre-season. Was, it, really pu- was, it, pu- was it pukey? Was it, was it literally... Yeah, it was pukey. It was, it was pukey every, every single time. It was no... It, it, managers used to say back then, if you've not puked, you've not run far enough. <laughs>